Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain uh, what are the different types of devices that are in, working in the microwave solid state devices with the high frequency and low power. And as well as, I will also explain what are their applications and advantages in general. So first, you will see what are the devices that we have at this microwave frequencies and called as solid state devices. So microwave solid state devices are transistors second transferred electron devices third impact impact drop at barrett okay so these are the five different types of solid state devices that we generally work at high frequencies for the low power applications <coughs> okay transistors transferred electron devices <coughs> and impact impact diode tropad diode barrett diode these three devices are known as avalanche transit time devices these three devices are known as avalanche transit time devices now i will explain the advantage and application of each device in detail so first device device number one transistor device one transistor advantage of this device is low cost okay generally we know transistor is very low cost and low power supply low power supply reliable high cw power output continuous wave power output and very light weight okay so these are the main applications that are associated with respect to this advantage of this transistor coming to the application of this device l band transmitters for telemetry systems l band transmitters for telemetry systems and phased array radar systems and phased array radar systems and it is also used for this is the first one and second one also used for L and S band transmitters L and S band transmitters for communication systems communication systems okay so if you have taken the transistor it works at the l band already you know l band what do you mean by l band l band is for l s c x k u k k a like that we have different types of band designations so where the microwave frequencies are broadly classified if you take l band l band is extended from 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz in this particular range we can use these transistors for different applications like uh, satellite and radar communications telemetry systems are nothing but ground station systems uh, which are used to transmit the uh, signals at long distance okay and phased array antenna systems all these devices we are using this transistor and the second type of device 
second type of device which is TEDS. TED is nothing but transferred electron device. Transferred electron device. And first let us see what is the advantage of this TED. TED also works at low power. Low power. Low power is nothing but it needs only 12 volts. Low cost. Lightweight. Reliable. Low noise. And high gain. And high gain. Okay, it is another type of advantage that is high gain. The remaining advantages are almost common when we compare with the transistor. Now coming to the applications of this TATS, they are used at C band X and KU band per wide band systems per wide band systems okay and it is also used this is the first application and second one is x and ku band transmitters ku band transmitters for radar systems for radar systems such as traffic control such as traffic control and coming to third device which is in Impact diode, I M P A T T. Impact diode. So first, let us see the advantages of this one. Advantage of this device is also same low power supply, low power supply, low cost. Reliable high CW power output, high continuous wave power output, and lightweight. Okay, advantages are almost uh, same for all the devices. And coming to applications of this device. Transmitters for millimeter wave communication systems. They are acting as transmitters for millimeter wave communication systems. Communication systems. Okay, now coming to the device number four, which is a trapet. Which is trapet device, another type of avalanche transit time device. Trapped plasma, actually, trapet stands for trapped plasma avalanche transit time device. Impact is nothing but uh, impact ionization avalanche transit time device so this trapet is having advantage high peak and average power high peak and average power reliable low power supply low power supply 
and low cost. Okay. So coming to applications. So applications of this device, trapad device is working at S band. S band is the second type of band letter band designations, which is extending from 2 to 4 gigahertz. 2 to 4 gigahertz. S band pulsed transmitters. Pulsed transmitters for phased array radars phased array radars okay, radar systems phased array radar systems coming to the last device device number 5 which is barrett which is Barrett. So, advantage of this device, <coughs> low cost, low power, low power supply, reliable, and a low noise. Low noise. This bar uh, Barrett stands for barrier injected transit time device. Barrier injected transit time device. And applications of this device is local oscillators. Local oscillators in communications and radar receivers communications and radar receivers okay so these are the different devices their advantages and applications of each and every device okay these are the different devices that are working that we are going to work with at the high frequencies and as well as low power applications.